In question 16, the problem statement says determine the AP whose third term is 16 and the seventh term exceeds the fifth term by 12. So we are given one specific term of the AP which is the third term equal to 16 and we are told that the seventh term is 12 more than the fifth term and using this information we have to determine the AP. We have to determine what progression this is which means we have to determine the first term as well as the common difference and hence the first few terms of the AP. So there are uh, as in the early, some of the earlier questions of this exercise there are two slightly different ways to solve this problem. One is a more visual approach that gives you the answer quite fast and the other is a more algebraic approach which, which is what is expected on, uh, on a test or an exam. So let me show you both approaches. By the way, both approaches are kind of equivalent, so it doesn't really matter which one you use because both of them lead you to the right answer. So here's a visual model for this information given. So this number line representation, the markers on this line represent the terms of the AP. So for example, this marker represents the third term, which is 16. And we have this fifth term here and the seventh term here. And we are told that the difference between the fifth and the seventh term is 12. So the seventh term is uh, 12 more than the fifth term. Now from this information we can immediately determine the common difference because to go from the fifth term to the seventh term we will have to make two jumps of the common difference. So two jumps of t and this means that two jumps of d or 2d is equal to 12 or d is equal to 6. So the common difference is equal to 6 and from this we can determine uh, from the third term we can then determine the second and the first term. So the third term is 16. So the second term will be uh, 6 less than 16. So the second term will be 10 and the first term will be 6 less than 10. So the first term will be 4. So this AP is the progression 4, 10, 16 and then uh, the fourth term will be 22 the fifth term will be 28, the sixth will be 34 and the seventh will be 40 and so on and so forth. Uh, and we can see that the difference between the fifth and the seventh term is 12. Now let's do the same thing in a slightly more algebraic manner. So we will assume that the first term of the AP is A and the common difference is D. Um, and now we will make use of these two pieces of information given to us. So we are told that the third term is 16. So T3 is 16. Now T3 in terms of A and D, we can write this as A plus N minus 1. N is 3, so N minus 1 is 2. So A plus 2D is equal to 16. Also we are told that the uh, seventh term exceeds the fifth term by 12. So the seventh term in terms of A and D, this will be A plus 7 minus 1 or 6d and the fifth term will be uh, a plus 5 minus 1 or 4d and now t7 exceeds t5 by 12 so if we subtract these two relations on the left side we get t7 minus t5 that's 12 and on the right side the a terms cancel out and we are left with 6d minus 4d that's 2d and once again we get d equal to 6. Now if we plug this value of d equal to 6 into this equation, we get a plus 2d, uh, 2 into 6 that's 12, so a plus 12 is equal to 16 and this means that a is equal to 4. So using this algebraic approach also, we arrive at the same conclusions that the first term is 4 and the common difference is 6 and once we have these two parameters, the progression is determined because we can then uh, define the sequence precisely and if we want we can write the first few terms of the progression. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.